Candy was a drug addict on the streets of Minneapolis for many, many years. Then, four years ago, she quit. I met her last Saturday donating food and clothing at one of Minneapolis's homeless encampments. I needed to get sober, so when I went to jail, I, I told them don't release me to the streets because I would just go back out there. Before the arrest, I gave full surrender to the Lord. I just said, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I give my I give it all to you. Just do whatever you got to do to get me out of this lifestyle because otherwise I'm going to die. And what allowed you to listen? I heard his voice. <laughs> literally? Literally. Tell me more. Like, I want to like know. He just said, he literally told me to wait for the cops and I didn't know I had a warrant. I, I thought, I just got out of the workhouse. I thought I was clean and free of all that. All I heard is, just wait. And I was like, what are you talking about? I'm, wait. <laughs> you know? And I kept looking back, like, and I finally, for the first time in my life, didn't want to go get high. And I was like, okay. So I sat there and I was like, confused, but not confused. Like, I didn't, I wasn't scared for the first time ever. I got reconnected with my son who was in the military. We have a, a beautiful relationship. I have a granddaughter that's four years old. I got, yeah, he's just restoring everything in my life and he keeps giving me more. What do the people think who knew you? They are super amazing. But what I especially wanted to know from Candy was, how does one tap into this power? Is it like a radio frequency? You're, you're, you're tuned into God? You're tuned into what Jesus would have you do when you wake up in the morning, you feel that? I hear him more audible than I do most people. And it is that soft, still voice inside of you, but sometimes it's loud. <laughs> sometimes he's like, don't do it. <laughs> is it available to everyone? It's available to everyone. What yeah. must they do? They just gotta surrender to him. What does that mean? Surrender. It means something different to each one. Give up the joke. Open your heart. Open your heart, open your mind, your soul. It's the surrender. Yeah. And it's the it's the obedience and it's the the like letting Holy Spirit lead you. Let his spirit lead you. I've been asking myself these questions a lot these days. I was glad to have Candy share her wisdom and hope with me. Perhaps it'll be impactful for you as well. Stay tuned for hers and many, many other stories as we continue to release interviews and episodes of our series, Home Less.